In 1946, the United Nations brought UNICEF to life during the very first session of the General Assembly. The vote was unanimous. There were fewer than 10 employees. In those early days after World War II, more than six million children across Europe received milk and a daily meal. Audrey Hepburn was one of those children. As medicine, soap, and clothing were added to UNICEF's range of supplies, we reached out to children in Palestine and China. When UNICEF's mandate was made permanent in 1953, we were already active in some 100 countries, expanding beyond emergency response to take on the spiral of poverty, disease and hunger that kills thousands every day. The Children's Fund is one of the most vivid examples within the framework of the United Nations of international cooperation and peaceful purposes. As the Cold War raged, UNICEF remained a force of global cooperation, leading to the Nobel Peace Prize, the first ever to be awarded to an agency, not an individual. It is a great privilege represent here today the United Nations Children's Fund. The 60s and 70s became known as the development decades as UNICEF expanded its mission beyond emergency relief to become part of a UN-led global partnership to jumpstart development as dozens of countries began to establish themselves as independent nations. The 80s brought years of famine across Africa. UNICEF coordinated relief efforts across the region that brought rations to an unprecedented 7 million people. UNICEF doesn't exist in a vacuum. To achieve our goals, we always unite people, governments, donors, humanitarian agencies, businesses, and children themselves. UNICEF is an organization of firsts such as the revolutionary idea that well-known public figures could help bring attention to the plight of the world's children. Starting with Danny Kaye in 1957, for all of us, serving as a Goodwill Ambassador has been one of the richest experiences of our lives. UNICEF is fighting back against famine and drought, poverty and disease. Gradually, UNICEF's role as a development agency became more defined, bringing a revolution in child survival. Universal immunization coverage became common. We even were able to bring about ceasefires in countries such as Yugoslavia and El Salvador to carry out mass campaigns. We reached out to millions of homes to teach parents about oral rehydration therapy, the simplest, most effective way to stop deaths caused by diarrhea. In 1989, UNICEF led the drive to set a standard of ethics for the treatment of children. The resulting Convention of the Rights of the Child, was adopted by the UN General Assembly, and quickly became the most widely accepted human rights treaty in history. It is so decided. The night is began with the World Summit for Children, the largest gathering of world leaders ever to discuss children's issues. Meanwhile, large-scale distribution of vitamin A and other micronutrients continues unabated. UNICEF India developed a method to iodize salt that became the global standard. In early 2001 in southern Sudan, UNICEF undertook the largest demobilization of child soldiers ever, airlifting over 3,508 to 18-year-olds to safety. Getting Afghan children back in school after the fall of the Taliban broke new ground in the way we respond to emergency situations. An astounding number of children, as especially girls, once banned from class, began learning again. Yes! 
2001 Say Yes for Children campaign rallied millions of children and adults around the world, and 2002 Special Session on Children at the United Nations was the first such session devoted entirely to children, and the first to include them as delegates. If we are going to improve the situation and save societies, we should start with the children. They are the leaders of tomorrow, and we need to do well by them. Giving children a voice on par with policymakers is today a key UNICEF policy. To make the world a better place for all. And as the specter of the HIV-AIDS pandemic began to affect children and young people in ever-increasing numbers, UNICEF called upon the world to unite for children against AIDS. As central as global development is to our mission, UNICEF has never forgotten where we began, and we still provide emergency response and post-trauma care wherever catastrophe strikes. We have helped dreams become reality for millions. We changed the way the world looks at children. Today, almost 60 years on, UNICEF is the most influential advocate for children in the world. The global scope of our mission and of our 8,000 colleagues is unparalleled anywhere. To unite the world to guarantee every child's right to health, education, equality and protection. This is our mission. Unite for Children.